Before the video fully begins, remember to follow Epic's guide to models and remember the vertice count of 20,000. If you want to find vertices in Blender, press this button and go to statistics and on the left side should show you the vertice count. The first step to importing assets is to open file browser in UEFM. And to do that, go to the window tab found in the top left corner. Next, you need to find the content browser, which is just the second tab in the drop down menu. Once that is open, you should have access to all of Fortnite's models and your world's models as well. Your world will have a custom name which you assigned it to. My one is called Number One. Next, you're going to select your project folder and create an import folder. This is where you're going to store your imported assets from Blender, 3DS, or Maya, whatever you use just to keep the imported files safe and so that you know where they're stored within your project. Now we're going to finally get onto Blender and to export our model. My model here is a 1950s radio for a school project I'm doing but we're going to import it into Fortnite. So the first step is to go to the top left corner again and press file and then scroll down to export and then you want to export the model as FBX. Now that this menu is open I'm going to give you a quick run through of what is on your screen. The left side is to select where you want your file to be stored, whether that be in the documents, C drive, different drives, whatever, that's what the left side is for. The bottom middle is for your file name, mine is called 1950s radio. The right side is extremely important in exporting your model into Fortnite. This controls uh, whether the texture should be copied, whether the mesh should be copied. It's very important to copy what I have selected here. Once you're done on the right side, just press export. Now you want to return to UEFM and go to your import folder. Then you should see a button called import, funny enough. Press it and find your FBX file. Next Unreal Engine will show you a window that will pop up. I'm not sure what the settings are, I'm still quite new to this. But I just skipped through and imported all of it and boom, I had my radio. Now the last thing is to test if it works in Fortnite, so press launch session at the top and it will eventually load up the world. And here it is, live in game. It also has its own collider, pre-applied by Unreal which is really nice. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. The right side is extremely important in Xbox in The right side is extremely important in Xbox X I'm actually gonna fin a tweak bro, I'm actually gonna shake my ass.